Defender of Freedom uploading data log for day 67 of the Galactic War. Data Archive, the major order to hold the Menkent line, is looking very positive. As long as we continue the counteroffensive, the bots won't know what hit them. Our Seif engineers are working diligently on the orbital defenses for the line, and it's our job to defend them while they work. Helldivers already secured Menkent by the start of the day, and begin FTL jumps to Lazoth to reinforce the ongoing liberation efforts there. Helldivers remarked that the environmental conditions in Lazoth were much preferable to those in Menkent. The opportunity to cool off on Lazoth was appreciated after fighting through the firestorms on Menkent, though some of our Helldivers remarked that some woolly capes in their loadouts would have been welcome. The liberation went heavily in Super Earth's favor in the first half of the day. The bots were not able to hold following the arrival of reinforcements from Menkent. But suddenly, the toasters launch a cowardly attack on Menkent. The bots appeared to be paying attention to our plan and began to disrupt our efforts by attacking Menkent as we were nearing the liberation of Lasoth. However, we would not back down to this cowardly attempt at breaking the Menkent line. It was decided by the Helldivers that the majority would focus on completing the liberation of Lasoth, while a smaller force would hold in Menkent until reinforcements could arrive. The brave Helldivers in Menkent held valiantly against a greater number of the attacking Atalmaton Legion. Their job was to hold off the attack at all costs. Reinforcements would surely arrive, but the Atalmatons must not break through. In Lasoth, the liberation of the planet was at 84% and the objective was to close out this liberation as quickly as possible to reinforce Menkent. It could not be denied. This plan was working, and over the next four hours, the automatons completely lost control over Lasoth, with the Helldivers in Menkent barely holding on. Following the liberation of Lasoth, Helldivers rallied back to reinforce the defense of Menkent, over doubling the super destroyers deployed on the Scorching Planet. Despite a reluctance to deploy on a planet with such unfavorable environmental conditions, the perseverance of the Helldivers is unmatched, their efforts not in vain. The arrival of the reinforcements turned the defense heavily in Super Earth's favor. The bots could not compute this defeat. The toaster's cowardly attempt at breaking the Menkent line was pathetic and easily repelled by the Helldivers in the early hours of Day 68. The SES Defender of Freedom salutes all those who risked their lives against a deadly fire to ensure the safety of Super Earth. With the Menkent line secured, our only requirement is to hold the two planets until the end of the Major Order, when our chief engineers have finished setting up our orbital defenses. We should expect further pathetic attacks by the bots on Day 68. On the Terminated front, Helldivers have been more reluctant to jump into the firestorms with the bugs, and we have seen a decline in their liberation progress for Hellmire. On Crimsica, we have seen slow progress in liberation as we work to corral the Terminates back into their farms. Once we have re-liberated the planet, we will work on increased security measures for the spacious pastures. Perhaps if the bugs cannot appreciate our efforts, we can make the enclosures less spacious. This concludes this data log for Day 67 Data Archive. With Menkent and the Soth liberated, we must now continue to hold both planets and stay strong against any further cowardly attacks from the toasters. Yeah.